So we've quite a lot of events, both uh, student events and academic events. For example, in the Jacques Delors Centre that I'm attached to, we have the European Governance Colloquia every week where we invite people from all over um, Europe and beyond. Uh, if you're attached to a centre, you're usually housed within your centre, so you're with your colleagues that you work with within your own research centre. For example, I'm housed in the Jacques Delors and we all work on European related issues. We, we have quite a small library, but the advantage of that is that we really know our staff very well and they will go above and beyond to get us the resources we need. So I'd say the advantage of teaching experience at Hertie as a small institution is that we only have master's degree students. So compared to larger universities where I've thought where you're teaching undergraduate students, you really are dealing with smaller classes and people who are engaging with the material at a much deeper level. I would say that Hertie isn't very formal in terms of its operational structures, um, and this is a great advantage in my opinion. It's very non-hierarchical. It's uh, very much a horizontal structure in many respects, and that gives you a great ability to get involved in the university and to participate in its governance. I would never dream of calling my, my supervisor by professor or title. I always just address him by his first name. I call him Mark. I think Berlin is an interesting city in terms of its place in the world. It has a really unique history and a really unique geographical place within European history and within global history. It's a place where East meets West, physically and metaphorically. Um, it holds a unique place in European consciousness in that sense, I think. There's a good social life in Berlin. There's a lot of clubs, there's a lot of bars. It's still relatively cheap to go out and get a drink here as well, which is nice. There's a few hundred galleries here. There's World Heritage sites dotted all around the place. And it's a great city to cycle around. I tend to cycle around the city all the time. And the first thing that struck me about Berlin was the summers are beautifully hot. The winters are fabulously cold. Spring, you just kind of, everything comes to life within one week. You just kind of notice it cycling into work. And then the autumn takes on this beautiful gold color because it's so full of trees. It's a beautiful city to live in if you love watching the seasons go by.